In this video, I'd like to share with you my experience with remodeling a store-bought cardigan. Unfortunately, I did not take a before photo, so this is my attempt at reproducing the before look on my computer. The cardigan had very large flared cuffs, like two giant funnels. This look was trendy about 15 years ago, but the fashion changed and I stopped wearing it. It was just sitting in my closet. I decided to change to update its look so that I would be wearing it again. And this is how it looks now. The original cuffs were truly giant. This is how much yarn I had left after redoing the cuffs. 13 grams. The sleeves were seamed using a crochet seaming technique. I made this swatch to be able to show you with a contrasting colored yarn how I undid the seams. Because it's harder to see the seam on the actual sleeve. These are the stitches of the seam. They have a chain look. And it's very easy to undo such a seam. Just look for a rounded side of the loops and undo it from that end of the seam. I simply pull one of the stitches out and then cut it. Find the stitch on the other side. Corresponding to the area where I cut the seam. Loosen it up with a blunt needle and move the thread to the other side. And once the loop is free, it's very easy to undo. I just pull the thread and the seam is undone. And if I don't need to undo it all the way, I can use a marker and it will act as a stopper. This is the actual seam on the cardigan. You can see the stitches on one side. And the loops on the other side. And they're very well hidden because the manufacturer used the yarn of the same color, of course. So these are the chains. And I will remove my marker to show you how easy it is to undo this seam. Just pull the thread and the seam is undone. And I don't want to undo it any further, so I'll put my marker back to secure this stitch. The cardigan was neat in some kind of machine-made rib that I never encountered before. That's why my rib, which is a just regular one-by-one -one rib, looks different. This is how the transitional area looks on the wrong side. 
and this is how it looks on the right side and when I was picking up the stitches for my rib I was not sure which side I liked better because this could be used as a decorative seam sort of a um, design element but I settled on this look because to me it looks more minimalistic less of a statement I worked both cuffs on one needle at the same time so I didn't have to count the rows and my cuffs would be identical twins and I found the most important thing was uh, when picking up the stitches from the original sleeve was not to lose the edge stitches and also it took me some time to select the right needle size so that the size of my stitches would match the size of the stitches in the original cardigan. I bound off the edges using the invisible bind off method with a tapestry needle. I like the rolled over look of the stitches when I use this method and the edge feels very nice and soft. I initially made the cuffs up to here. You can see where I connected the new yarn. This was the initial edge I made. But then I tried it on and decided to extend the length of the cuffs because the longer sleeves looked better and also the long sleeves are the new trend. After the cuffs were finished I seamed them back using the same crochet seaming technique with a hook. When I worked my rib, I made slip stitch edge stitches. So each of my edge stitches corresponds to two rows of the rib. So I had to make the stitches of the seam a little bit larger and take care not to grab any other stitches but the edge stitches to maintain the neat look of the seam. So my seam here looks so far very similar to the original seam, except my stitches are a little bit larger. And from this end I will use the yarn tail. I'll use a single strand because two strands would be too bulky. I thread one strand on my tapestry needle and first go into the corner like this
and one more time. And then check that my edge is level. Looks pretty good. And continue seaming. I insert the hook under both loops of the edge stitches. Pull the yarn through, make a loop, and then again under both loops of the following two edge stitches. Pull the yarn and through the loop on the hook. And continue the same way. And I make sure that my seam is not too tight, so it doesn't pull the edge. Here I'm almost finished. Last couple of edge stitches. And pull the yarn through the loop on my hook and all the way out. Like this. Checking on the right side that I only used the edge stitches for the seam. My columns are not disturbed, they look straight. This is the manufacturer's original seam, and my seam continues in the same style. This is the new puff. I like how the transitional area looks. It looks neat and minimalistic. The new sleeve is extra long, just like I like it, and it's in sync with the current trend. So if you have an old knit that is not very current, maybe you can make some small alterations and give it a second chance and enjoy it.